Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Good morning, my dear students. Today, I'm going to teach you an important topic, Chitra Lekhanam. Chitra Lekhanam means picture writing. If you are getting a picture writing in your question paper, what you have to do? First, you see the picture properly, children. See this picture. This is a picture of a pond. In the pond, so many lotuses are blooming. Okay, that's all here. Okay, then what you have to do? Go for the words. Go for the words given in a clue box. Manjusha, here is the clue box. In that clue box, so many words are there. Okay, first you read the words properly. Chitram, Tadagasya, Kamalani, Sundarani, Jalam, Swacham. Okay, children. Then what is the meaning for these words? You have to analyze. Chitram means picture. See here. Chitram, picture. Okay, children. Then Tadagasya. Tadagasya means of a pond. Okay, children. Then Kamalani. Kamalani means lotuses. Lotuses. Then Sundarani. Sundarani means beautiful. Okay, children. Then Jalam. Jalam means water. Then at last Swacham. Swacham means clean. Okay, children. Then you can analyze which lingam, which vibhakti it belongs to. Okay, children. Then you come for the empty empty lines you have to fill four sentences how can you make first you analyze in your mother tongue if your mother tongue is tamil you just analyze in that if your mother tongue is telugu you analyze in that okay then then you translate into sanskrit okay then for an example this is a picture of a pond this is a picture of a pond how will you make this sentence into Sanskrit? I will show you. Listen here. First you have to write Yetat. Yetat. Then you take Tadagasya. The word Tadagasya. Yetat Tadagasya. Then this is a picture, right? So, what is the meaning of the picture in Sanskrit? Chitram. Yetat tadagasya chitram. Then asti. You have to end with a verb. This is mandatory. You have to do like that. Okay, then. So, you read this sentence now. Yetat tadagasya chitram asti. What is it mean by that? This is a picture of a pond. Okay, then. Then... In this pond, so many lotuses are blooming. You can easily translate this into Sanskrit. Okay. How? Listen here. Tadage. Tadage. Kamalani. Kamalani. What does it mean? Blooming. Blooming means Vikasati. In plural form, vikasanti. So, children, you have to know one, one thing. The important thing is you have to know so many number of dhatus and its meaning. You have to know so many number of verb, action words in Sanskrit. So, you have to write that vikasanti. So, tadage, kamalani, vikasanti. Okay, children. Then, so many beautiful lotuses are there in this pond. How can you write this? Listen here. Tadage Sundarani. You can take from here, Sundarani. Then, Kamalani, here it is. Kamalani. You can take that. Sundarani. Kamalani. Then, 
you have to end with the verb that is santi why santi because it is plural okay santi okay then then the last one how can you write clean water is there in this pond how can you translate this into sanskrit asmin tadage jalam swachham asti okay then listen here asmin tadage jalam swacham then ends with the verb asti okay chale asmin tadage jalam swacham asti children one thing you have to know you make a simple sentence or you make a brief sentence but you have to know one thing clearly that is in what gender in what number in what case ending you are making the subject in that same number only you have to write the verb this is the common instruction children okay so by seeing this picture with the help of the words by understanding the meaning of the words you can easily write four sentences like this okay children then now i will give you one homework what you have to do is i done this picture for you you have to do yourself this picture chitram drushtva padani chitva chatvari vakyani likhata make four sentences first what you have to do see the picture it is a picture of a forest okay a lion is there so many deer are running a peacock is dancing so you can easily analyze three sentences in english is it right then what you have to do you have to go for the manjusha clue box what are the words given here garjati vane वनस्य धावती मयूर चित्र मृगा देन गो फॉर द मीनिंग वर्सन बे गर्जती गर्जती मीन्स रोरिंग वने मीन्स इन द फॉरेस्ट वनस्य मीन्स ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट धावती मीन्स रनिंग मयूर मीन्स पीकॉक चित्र मीन्स पिचर मृगा मीन्स डीर्स okay children by this you can easily frame four sentences right but you can add some more words on your own you can add some words okay how asmin chitre you can write here asmin chitre it's a common word we can use in chitra lekhanam asmin chitre simha how many lines are there in this picture only one right so you can write one more adjective to describe the noun so asmin chitre ekah simhah asti listen carefully children if you add so many adjectives your sentence will be so strong the teacher will easily give you full mark okay children will you do this good children thank you so much